devices which converts the electrical energy into thermal energy. These two devices, that is, electrical motors and generators, plays a prominent role of conversion of these electrical and thermal energies. Let us discuss the magnetic field and field lines. If you observe here, I have drawn the three pictures. You, you see here, this is the magnet which is consisting of two poles, that is, the north pole and south pole. These two poles are determined in the help of the compass, that is, the compass may be whatever way you can take the needle as this needle will be deflecting when, when a magnet is not near to it. So, this needle deflects when, when it comes near to the north pole and it attracts towards the south pole. That means, if this is having the positive, and if you assume this as the positive, positive, positive always ripples and the unlike poles always attract, right? So, by this we can conclude or we can determine these two poles that is north and south. Now, these north sea, that is the, which is pointing towards the north, is said to be as north seeking or north pole and which is facing towards the south, is said to be as south seeking or south pole. Now, I am doing one small activity in order to understand the magnetic field lines and how they are distributed towards the power magnet. In this, I will be bringing near to the south pole, that is the compass needle, and how this is deflected. See, first it is in blue, right? I have drawn horizontally towards it, but it is deflected towards vertically, right? Then, again here, in this, uh, I will draw the lines based upon the different of the needle. As per the deflection of the needle, I am pointing out of the magnetic lines. Okay, in this way we are getting the basic diagram of the magnetic field lines. So, in this you will be seeing that bar magnet having the constant lines. That is, at the ends of the south pole and north pole, these are immersed into the immersed inside and these are diverged. That is, going outside from the north pole and these lines which are curved lines that is from south to north and north to south these curved lines are said to be as the field lines and the degree of uh, or the strength of these bar magnet depends upon the closeness of these field lines towards the bar magnet okay and these uh, electrical oh, sorry this magnetic field is acting as a vector quantity because it is having both magnitude and direction. As I said previously, it is flowing in a straight line path in, in the edges and in the middle, it will be seeing the curved surfaces, right? So, in this, I am placing the direction, I am showing the path or the direction how this field or how this force is acting. Therefore, we can say that these magnetic fields have the direction and magnitude. So, we will be concluding this as the vector quantity. Now, let us see these iron rings. What is this iron ring? It is nothing but this bar magnet. These lines, these are said to be as the magnetic field lines. And now, if I consider these iron fillings, that is the bar magnet. showing here the north pole and the south pole these field lines that is the magnetic field lines which are acting towards this right in the middle I have placed this conductor right this conductor is carrying the current now whenever these forces that is these magnetic lines or these magnetic pole magnetic field strength is present in these conductor which is flowing the current will be deflected that we can see with the help of the compass needle which is placed in the middle so whenever there is for example if you get this Fleming's right hand rule and left hand rule by that we can state the direction of the flow of magnetic field and at the same time current you will be observing here see let us take these are the magnetic field lines. Okay. Now I am placing a current carrying conductor in between. That is in the center of these.
these magnetic field lines. Now, when these are in anti-clockwise direction, the current will be flowing inwards. By using this, if you observe here, the curved surfaces are said to be as the magnetic field lines, and this is said to be as the current carrying conductor. Right? Whenever these magnetic field lines are in anti-clockwise direction, the current will be flowing inwards. That is said to be as Fleming's left-hand thumb rule, right? And by this, see, these curves will be detecting the magnetic field, and this thumb will be detecting the direction of the current. By this, if I place here, see, this is the thumb, and this is said to be as the curved lines. This is magnetic lines. Now, if you see the Fleming's that is. Uh, Right hand thumb rule, you will be observing that the direction will be changed. It is nothing but if you see here, I am drawing it. If the magnetic field lines are in clockwise direction, then the current flowing will be outwards, that is, outwards. The outward direction of the magnetic field lines that is said to be as into mark. This is the symbol given for that when the conductor is flowing the current in the outward direction, and for these. Current is flowing inward, then the symbol will be given as John symbol. And this is the basic representation of the flow of current when the magnetic field is present. Now we will be understanding this in detail because the magnetic field due to the current carrying current conductor. That is, if you also here, I have I have drawn two pictures, right? In this, we will be doing one activity in order to understand how this current carrying conductor will be. Thank you. 